Welcome back to VBAR 101. Um, I'm gonna do an overview of the main screen so you get to familiarize a little bit with that one. Um, and uh, I'll put the Avant Aurora installation on pause until uh, we get through this. First thing I'm gonna show you the main rotor. Uh, first of all, we have the collective, it's the overall throw, the pitch of your helicopter. The higher, the more pitch you got. Then we have the agility. Agility, it uh, controls the roll and flip rate of your helicopter. If you find yourself having too low or too high for your need in terms of uh, roll rate or flip rate, then your mechanical setup isn't good, and you need to really look at that. It could be the cyclic ring under swoosh uh, setup. Uh, swoosh servo setup but uh, you really need to look at it because it's not good running 55 or or higher in in, uh, in agility gyro gain is the same thing as on a tail server the more gain you have the more uh, stiffer response the more distinct response then we have stick response it's basically what you would refer as paddle weight uh, it controls both start and stops, so it gives a more, uh, either for soft it's very stable, it's sluggish almost, normal, then aggressive and hard 3D. If you ever hear someone saying, well I tried a V-bar and it didn't feel connected, I'll say they, they probably didn't try uh, this setting, because if you switch to hard 3D it's very very connected. Uh, and it's very sensitive in a way because it's going to respond very quickly. So that's the standard parameters and let's dive into the expert. So under expert we have integral and integral limit. The integral is the heading hold part of the control loop. Uh, as with all PID controllers or similar uh, you will have, it's always a balance, I, you can read up on, on the internet to really see what the PID controller does, but you need to balance it, you cannot put in too much of a, a single point and, and get good effects. Uh, what the V-bar does is that it can run a little higher heading hold to uh, get rid of some bad effects by having a limit on it. It's a slow limit, it's not hard, it's not fast, it's uh, a slower limit. It will, if you put too high uh, heading hole in a regular PID controller, you would get uh, a dolphin effect in a for fast forward flight because it always try to correct and try to find its angle. Uh, but uh, that's where the um, integral limit comes into play and uh, it actually smoothens that out. So normally I don't have to change this, I mean uh, on all my V-bar helicopters over all time I changed this value once on one helicopter and that was when I was running a very stiff head with very light blades I needed to raise the limit. Um, because it was bobbing when I com came out of tail slides, but uh, most likely you won't change that. AUF frames and value takes care of wobble at hard stops. Uh, gain only, the main rotor gain only can do so much. When you have a helicopter that stops, it has a certain mass and that will generate a slow uh, wobble or bobbing because of the mass that stops is like a rocking motion and that, that the AOF takes care of that and remove that completely the, <coughs> so the AOF need to match the weight of the helicopter so if you find yourself sitting and tweaking this off a preset and you haven't changed the weight of the helicopter if you haven't put on a huge scale fuselage or something that means there is something else wrong. I never ever change that one. Meaning uh, wrong dampers, worn out dampers, uh, wrong gyro gain, stuff like that is the fault. It's not uh, most lo likely not the, the 
a change of AOF required. You can probably mask some other stuff with changing the AOF, but uh, in reality that's not the cause of the problem. So the presets are very uh, spot on when it comes to because it's only when you change, I mean if you put on several kilos then you need to change it. Or you, if you compare a 450 with a 90 size then you need to change it, but otherwise you shouldn't. Elevator pre-compensation uh, compensates for a drag over the tail boom when you do a punch out. Uh, air travels down on the boom and it will push the boom down, especially if you have a huge uh, horizontal tail fin, it's going to be even bigger. So if you find yourself that the helicopter want to rise with the nose when you do a punch out uh, positive pitch and uh, reversed when you're doing a negative pitch then uh, you can tweak it with this value. RC dead band is uh, the dead band for the radio meaning if you have drifting and you raise this value and it helps then it's actually a telltale sign for you to service or switch radio. It's um, the uh, dead band in the center for the radio sticks. The optimizer, that's one of the cool parts of the V-Bar system. It actually optimizes your helicopter for the best performance. It does optimize stops on the cycle, it optimizes uh, elevator ver versus um, uh, aileron cyclic speed. It also optimizes the cyclic overall speed compared to what you're using um, and um, too high gain in uh, fast forward flight and stuff like that. So for normal uh, operation you, cl uh, you enable it then you fly two or three flights as normal as you can and then uh, uncheck it and I have done it it's magic. Uh, I can probably mm, I know what it looks for so I can probably do it in one flight uh, and be done with it. One important thing is don't leave it on uh, if you would do and then you hover for a whole pack because you're testing something else tracking or something uh, it will adjust and think oh th this guy is just hovering around and, and I should lower the agility and stuff like that so make sure you you fly your normal routine and it will take care of the most thing for you uh, it actually does work really good. I switched from Maniacs, the heaviest blade there is, to uh, Maniac Insane, which is the lightest blade there is, and it took one flight and it's good to go. Expo settings, you can either choose linear and run Expo in your radio, uh, or you can choose from the predefined sets here. Light is about 7%, medium is 15%, and deep is 30%. Um, it's a preference, doesn't matter which one you choose, uh, either I run it in the radio, but that's totally up to you if you feel it's easier to set it in the V-Bar than use it in the V-Bar. That uh, covers the main rotor, uh, in the next part I'm gonna go to the tail rotor and all its parameters.